Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. So Diego Maradona is widely regarded as one of the greatest football players of all time. In fact, many would consider him the greatest of all time. For me, he's, like, he's at least top five. He's at least, at the very least for me also. He's one of the greatest. He's up there. He's certainly up there. But he, unfortunately for him, he wasn't just known for his football talent. He was also known for using drugs, starting fights, amongst other things. He was a legend, but also a scoundrel. He was bad and good you know he, the good side of him was on, on the football pitch but off the pitch it wasn't so great so there's a movie recently that released called Diego Maradona named right after him and it focuses on his life based on footage like there's no new footage or anything it's just footage from press conferences interviews matches and private cameras as well like at nightclubs at parties there's cameras on him obviously because he's so, so famous and he's got a lot of clips there's a lot of clips there there's a lot of clips here and there from from many years and they basically put it all into one movie two hours and ten minute movie and it's a documentary style movie basically it's mostly in Spanish or Italian I think one of the two because it focuses a lot like at the start of the movie he's like at Boca Juniors then he's at Barcelona for two years then it focuses mainly around his time at Napoli when he went to Napoli in the, in the 80s in the mid 80s and it concentrates on him helping Napoli win their first ever league title etc spending many years at Napoli uh, like five or six years I think he was there focuses on like the, the league the UEFA Cup eventually and also the World Cups the two World Cups 86 and 90 yes England fans that does, in, that does include the hand of God it does include that in fact there's like a big focus on that in one part of the movie like he knew it was his hand like he knew he knew he was cheating he talks about it etc and it's pretty cool like you hear the voices of Maradona himself his trainer his former teammates fans um, other stuff as well like people around him and people who witness his life from their, their perspective uh, people who knew him people who spent time with him his wife um, other people as well a lot and his sister as well and his parents a lot of different like sides to the story and yeah it would focus on his football career like in Napoli and with Argentina winning the World Cup in 86 and getting to the final in 1990 which was which was kind of like it didn't end too well for him not because he lost the final but because they played Italy in the semi-final and it took place in Napoli in, in Naples where he played for Napoli and Napoli were looked down on by the rest of the country by the rest of, by the rest of Italy and partly because partly because of that but also because of Diego Maradona and, and they loved him a lot of people from Naples kind of he, he kind of called for their support kind of and it kind of caused a division between Italians and they won they beat Italy in Italy in, in Naples and that caused a big stir and <laughs> there's that as well there's a lot of pit, on pitch drama it would have been funny if he won the World Cup final that year like from all that hatred from the semi-final, if he went on and won the final, that would have been crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was mad and it also dives into like racism and stuff. Like obviously because the rest of Italy like hated Naples, hated Napoli, etc. So it would focus on that as well. It would tell you what fans are saying, like is that exactly what they're saying. Like it's mostly in Italian and Spanish obviously and there'll be subtitles at the bottom. And there was one part where Juventus fans and Inter Milan fans were chanting really rude, um, <laughs> rude stuff at, at Napoli and at Maradona, and they would translate it. It was like all, on, it was all like going like all the words. You, you, you could see what they were saying, and that was uh, that, that was kind of mad. That's kind of mad. I don't know where this is available. It's available in the UK. Um, it's apparently a film for related movie as well. So I assume it's available in Argentina and stuff like I don't know if it's available worldwide it should be in Europe and South America at least probably but um, it's a good watch I feel it's a good watch the only thing is though for me personally I'm not very used to watching long documentaries so the last 20 minutes or so I was kind of feeling like okay this is dragging <laughs> this is dra it was dragging for me towards the end because there was so much in it and for me with documentaries like I can watch them but if I watch that same movie at home I'd probably watch it over like two or three viewings because I wouldn't watch the whole two hours, ten minutes 
all in one go. I'm just not used to that for a documentary. I can watch like an action movie, but a documentary, a documentary style movie, um, just a documentary in general, uh, just two hours and ten minutes long, it, it, it dragged for me personally because I don't like, I mean, I, I, I love documentaries, I just don't like watch them like all in one go most of the time. Like sometimes I find some documentaries on YouTube that I watch and it takes me like <laughs> a month to watch it because I just get uh, I just get bored after 10 minutes. But this one wasn't really, it wasn't boring. Uh, the first, like most of the movie was like very interesting because it focused on his football career and also a lot around his off pitch career, like off the career, what he was like off the pitch, why he was bad. It shows the good sides, the bad sides, and the ugly sides, the really ugly sides. And it goes in depth, like it, it takes into account different perspectives of people as well. His, his perspective, um, why people hated him, why people loved him, etc, etc, etc. And yeah, and why some people went from loving him to hating him as well. And it, it was crazy, parts of it were sad, parts of it were kind of funny as well, to be fair. Like, there was something he said when he moved from Barcelona to Napoli and it was quite funny because uh, because he basically like he wasn't in a good place like financially so he was talking about um, asking for a house and getting a flat because he had no money asking for a Ferrari and getting a Fiat it's just the way he said it was hilarious to me to a lot of people as well in the cinema watching um, but yeah it, it, it does a really good job of like showing like who he is and what he did it shows how good he was as a footballer but it also shows what he could be like at his worst like what he was doing outside the pitch that were questionable and reasons why people didn't like him etc and uh yeah it was it was good they also they also mentioned the uh, Falklands war as well before before they showed the uh England Argentina um <laughs> world cup game he was talking about the Falklands war um, he was talking about how the Argentine Argentine army were talking about how they were winning the war but in reality, they were losing like 20 nil. That, that was like that, that was an exact quote as well, and it, I, it was it was uh, it was quite amusing, and it was also quite uh, quite quite brutal as well. And I was just like, I don't know what to how to react to that. But um, yeah, he said like I think he said in a way it was like revenge for him, etc. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things in here that um, you will know about that you'll see in more depth. And there's a lot of things that you don't know about that you'll learn about about him as well, like good and bad things. And uh, it's it's a pretty cool account of his life, of his life through the 80s and early 90s mainly. Like 85, I think he moved to Napoli, or the year before that. It's in the 80s, like mid, early to mid 80s it starts. Or and it also flashbacks as well. It flashbacks to his childhood pictures of his dad when he was younger. Um, how was the youngest child of like. A family of seven um, and how they lived in the poor area where they came from um, there's there's a lot of things in there there's stuff when he was younger and um, there's just a lot a long a long uh, just just a lot of stuff two hours and ten minutes of a documentary of someone's career with, uh, in a period of like ten years then they do a time jump to like the 2000s like recently as well um, to show a few things here and there um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like they showed like how he's successful with Napoli and how he changed Napoli. Like he really did. He changed Napoli. Like they had not won a single league title before he joined, and he changed everything over there. And they loved him for it. And then, <laughs> and then he betrayed Italy <laughs> in the semi-final in the World Cup <laughs> on their own um, in their own country, which is quite funny. It was, it was quite ironic because I was just like, wait a second, I never knew this because I was just like, wait, so. The whole of Italy hates Napoli and when Napoli, well, and then Maradona came in, they hated him, Maradona won, helped them win the league and then eventually there was a World Cup semi-final between Maradona's country, Argentina, and Italy, in Italy, in the Napoli stadium. Like what are the chances of that? Like seriously, like that, that is mad. And after that game, he was hated by a lot of people, a lot of Italians especially. So uh, yeah, this is a uh, very spoilery obviously. Um, that's, that's how I intended it really. Um, I might put a spoiler warning, I guess, but I don't think it's needed because it's documented about his life. Like you can check what he did on Google. You know, I don't like 
Can you really spoil this? I, I don't know. I don't know. But if you are a football fan, if you're a fan of the sports, and if you know who he is, especially if you want to learn more about him, I do recommend checking it out. That's for sure. If you're not a fan of the sports, then I don't know. I mean, it focuses on a sports guy, who uh, a sports personality who also did crazy things off the pitch. It could interest you, um, but I don't know. But definitely, football fans definitely go and watch it. I think it, it's it's worth to watch. It's uh, it's plot partly glorious and partly depressing and partly just crazy and it's a bit mad some of the things he's done and they showed some they showed some injury detail as well and um <laughs> and it shows dressing room uh, dressing room action uh just just players singing nothing more than that just topless players just singing random things but they sing like some weird things they, they sing some very weird things the argentine argentina locker room and uh napoli locker, locker room after winning they sing some weird things like you can see the subtitles like there was like a couple scenes in English talking about him, but most of it was in either Spanish or Italian, I, I would assume, with subtitled below. And it was it was a good watch. It was a good watch. But sometimes I had to look away though, because they like they showed they probably showed injury detail for a couple things. Like they should have had injections into his Okay, never mind, that's just you know what? But but if if you are a bit squeamish then uh, you know you know, <laughs> you can't really look away though because they're subtitles. Like I want to read them, but anyway, yeah, that's just that's just me personally. But yeah, it's it's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. This was your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I forgot my rating. I always forget, I forget my rating. I always forget my rating. Um, in terms of what it was, what the movie was, eight out of ten. I feel. I think it's uh, pretty good. It, it explained things really well. It missed a couple things out. A couple things like that part where he scored for Argentina and like. He went like this into the camera and he got proven, uh, he got <laughs> his drug test was positive. They didn't really show that, but um, they showed most things. They, they showed pretty much everything apart from like a couple things here and there. But um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things in there. There's a lot of things in there. All right, see ya.